Good morning, otters. I'm Mrs. Chahal, and I'm very excited to introduce the Otters Spread Love and Kindness Assembly. The grade fives in my class have been working really hard on planning, preparing, and hosting this assembly, and I'm so proud of all their hard work. We'll start this assembly off by listening to a land acknowledgement read by Muhammad. Thank you, Mrs. Chahal. My name is Muhammad, and I'll be reading the land acknowledgement. From the Anishinaabe to the Haudenosaunee and the Métis, these treaty lands are steeped in rich indigenous history and modern traditions. As a community, we have the responsibility to honor and respect the four directions, land, waters, plants, animals, and ancestors. Today, this area is home to many indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island. We acknowledge the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation of the Anishinaabeg peoples on whose ancestral and treaty lands we teach, learn, and live. Valentine's Day is celebrated on February 14th, and this week is Random Acts of Kindness Week. Specifically, today is Random Acts of Kindness Day. That's why this week is all about love and kindness. We will first begin by learning about Valentine's Day and its origins with Akila, Naomi, River, Alex, and Amrit. On February 14th each year, many people celebrate Valentine's Day around the world, but do you ever wonder how it started? Long ago, the emperor of a place called Rome banned marriage because he thought unmarried men would be more focused soldiers. Years later, he was caught and because he disobeyed the law, he was punished on February 14th. St. Valentine believed in love, just like many of us believe today. Although love can be banned, you can never stop it. A priest named Valentine thought this law was very unjust, so he was secretly getting people married, though it was forbidden. Today, people all around the world show others love on February 14 by giving cards, buying gifts, and sweet treats, and sharing meals. Thank you, Akila, Naomi, River, Alex, and Amrit for that explanation about Valentine's Day. 5A asked students and staff in our school what love means to them. This is a showcase of the responses prepared by Atish, Akila, Lana, Banna, Amol, and Mr. Anderson. This is what love means to the otters. What a great showcase of the many ways otters love in our school. Thank you to everyone who shared with us. Next, we'd like to present an awesome stop motion video created by the grade threes in Miss Montague's class.
Wow, Miss Montagu's class, one amazing stop motion video with a great message. We can see all the hard work you put on our class creation. Next, Ayana will tell you all about Random Acts of Kindness Week. What is Random Acts of Kindness Week? Random Acts of Kindness Week is a week to celebrate and encourage people to perform kind acts. It was created by the Random Acts of Kindness Foundation to encourage people around the world to make kindness the norm. This next video from the foundation talks about the science around kindness and and how acts of kindness towards others or ourselves make our bodies feel. Sometimes it's easy to feel like the world's getting harder. But if we look closer, on the news, on the web, on the street, we're anything but unkind. Every day, we hear new stories of people trying to make the world a better place. And together, we can make the world that little bit kinder for all of us. It all starts with just one person, you. The thing about kindness is that it's just about the only thing in the world that doubles when you share it. And it's a fact, backed by science. Studies have shown that if you perform just one random act of kindness a day, you'll not only reduce your stress, anxiety, and depression, but your body is flooded with the same hormones that make you and the person you've helped calmer, healthier, and happier. Serotonin, which heals your wounds, helps you relax and makes you feel good. Endorphins, which reduce pain, and oxytocin, which reduces blood pressure and makes you feel more loving and loved. You'll both be more energized, feel less aches and pains, more confident, and could even live longer. And if other people see you helping someone else, they'll be filled with those same feel-good hormones, meaning they're significantly more likely to pay it forward. Like taking that extra moment to hold the elevator for someone, spotting a coffee for a stranger who's just a few cents short, giving your neighbor a hand with their groceries, even just smiling and meaning it. It doesn't take much, but it can make a huge difference for everyone. Those people you've helped will help other people, and those other people will help even more people. And those random acts of kindness can start a chain reaction that can spread across an entire community, a city, a country, and with enough of us, the world. Now, isn't that the world we all want? And it all starts with one. Did you know that every human being has a need to feel loved and a sense of belonging? Abraham Maslow created the theory that once humans' basic needs are met, which include access to food, water, shelter, and clothing, they have a need to feel loved and that they belong within a group. Love forms bonds between us but not hold back. They're meant to save us if we fall or help us climb higher. Yes, things break beyond repair sometimes, but we can always build anew. If a fire ever fades, it take, just takes a single spark to set it off again. No matter how dark things get, we can all help light the way. We can make this life beautiful for ourselves and for each other. And we all deserve to be here, whatever shape or color we come in. As you've seen, love and kindness are so important. Avril, Afni, and Erica have created a video showing ways that the otters can show love and kindness. How can you make someone feel loved? And how can you spread kindness? Give a hug. Say something kind to someone, like, You're amazing. Tell people you're grateful for them. Give a compliment. Show compassion by offering help. Make a nice meal for your family. Inviting peers into breakout rooms to do activities together. For example, reading, games, playing, talking, etc. Talk to people in your class who may be feeling excluded. Say, I love you. Make someone see themselves in a new way and tell them what makes them amazing. Just say hi or ask, how are you? 
tell them a joke. Strike up a conversation with someone you haven't talked to in a while. Hold the door for someone. Say thank you. Message someone. Good morning. Do the dishes. Arrange the table. Help clean the house. Help someone tie their shoes. Invite people to join your friends group. Now that you know how you can spread love and kindness, why don't you try it out? That concludes our assembly for today. Faye just wanted to leave you with one important message. Make someone feel love not just today but every day.